Hello guys, so welcome to Photographic Academy. Alright, so quickly I want to look a jump of this image. So I saw this challenge, IG. This was an image shot by or a big or a, or a photos, yeah, and canvas snap. So they are running a challenge lately on this particular image who will do the best thought and all of that. So we saw this, we said, okay, I think this will be nice for a YouTube tutorial. I just wanted to show you my own take of the picture and how much you can do on this image just using our phone for you, the touching action pack. Amazing result that we're going to see at the end of the day. So this is the setting I put in my camera roll. If you look through, you're going to see the sliders I moved. Just a little bit of texture, a little bit in the shadows, highlight, contrast, exposure, and all of that. Then I did a little color grading to bring the whole skin tone towards this uh, chocolate stuff you are looking at over here. Then I think I reduced the temperature, the white balance a little, yeah, towards the cold temperature and added a little bit of magenta just to take it away from this warm tone. I don't really, I didn't really feel the warm tone and bring it towards this particular one that I like. So after doing that, just jump straight into Photoshop. Okay, so I'm going to be collapsing this because we're not using it to play. All right, so quickly, but our image. I think I like the cropping from the clinic page right here. It's somewhere here. Yeah. Try to move it. Okay, so slightly like that. Beautiful. So I'm going to clear this out a little. So nice. Okay, so press enter. Have it cropped. Sending a little split over here. Okay, so okay, so we've cropped our image. Let's quickly go through the image and quickly remove some uh blemishes from it. Just to do that, you can create a black and white adjustment layer that can stop down so you can see the blemishes better. Just like that. Yeah, nice. So I'm going to pick up my pass tool or any of the healing brush tool and make sure that sample all layers is not checked. I'll quickly just dab over the blemishes and see what you can do with that. So this is intended to be a very short video. So I don't want you to spend all your time trying to edit because the essence of the whole thing is to show you that you can actually be beauty with touch in few minutes. And you are done. Okay, got this one. So just quickly take care of them. I wouldn't want to remove the stretch marks. Here it's very natural. It's part of her skin and her makeup. I'm not going to remove that. Okay, so I put four nestors up. So I'm going to delete my black and white layer. Do not need it again. I think we did a little too much over here. And it's okay. So quickly, let's grab our done for you. You can go around your image and make sure you have everything sorted. Maybe let's be straight hairs, just clean them out quickly, as quickly as you can. Just no touch. Of course, when we clean the background up, it's going to also go away, but let's also do the much we can right now, cleaning up our image. All right, so we grab our action. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? So it's over here. We are using this particular one, done for you. We touch action over here. So we just click on done for you. We touch our play. Now, zoom in on your image to make sure it will still, you have your textures intact. So I'm somewhere around here. So I'm trying somewhere around it. Seven, seven, seven. Okay, so let's see. We still have textures. Seven is a very good place to stay. You can do six. You can even do more than seven, depending on how much detail you want to retain or lose. So I think seven is a good place for me. So we'll wait for it. Very, very cute. Look at that. Isn't this amazing? Before, after, before, after. 
already. Whoa, this is beautiful. Paul, after, before, after. We're almost done. Our images half done. Look at it. They're retaining textures. So the next thing I want to do, I'm noticing a little bit of uh, shifting colors over the face and all of that. So I want to quickly run our auto skin tone matching action. Let's we'll quickly run it. Yeah, so I would have just used the same one in the image, but let's see if we'll get a different color at the end of the day. So this is supposed to be for the darkest area somewhere here. This is supposed to be for the mid tone. So I think here is, here is a good skin tone. Yeah, we did a little mistake. So when you do that, you copy check your brightness level we have it at 65 so this should be 65 in the location then check for the shadows as well we have it at 21 so the shadows should be 21 as well and the mid tone will have it at 43 so place it at 43 as well then press ok going to do its match and let's see what that will press ok then to finish up all right, so it's done, but it's not really seeing my skin tone perfectly because of the backgrounds. Look at the selection, it's looking weird. So I'm going to lose the selection, hide the, the gradient map, and just quickly create a new one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do select subject. I'm going to do select subject just to separate her from the background. Like that, press Ctrl J. So we'll have her on a different layer. You can delete this, it's no longer necessary. Then for that particular object layer, you can now go out to your color range and you will get a selection of her. Press OK. Then use the mask and replace the gradient map. You are good to go. So look at it. So we'll have our skin tone perfectly matching. But after look at that, the, 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 the place under her eyes, see the way the skin tones are now uniform you can decide to leave it at 27 if you take it higher and that it's going to look weird depending on what you are doing so i think i like it at 27 so i'm going to still flatten it off to move on okay so a little mistake it's filling into the air so i'm going to fix that my mask just take it away from the head just like that and we are good to go Just like that, and we are good to go. All right, so quickly, another thing I want to do is I want to do a little lubify on the image, the cheekbone, just one or two things, and we are good to go for now. So let's check, let's check, let's check what we can do in the lubify. So I'm going to pick up her face, yeah, like that. We just pull it in, be beautiful. Do the same over here, bring in the nose just a little bit. And go to the lips and see if we can make any change to spare. Uh, somewhere here, and those make it color, sata. Yeah, this is fine. So check for the eyes to make sure they're not having any of the eyes not properly tilting. Okay, so I think we are good to go, except for the the color bone over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just quickly uh pick up my what's it called schlep. Let's try to straighten this line. It's too much. I think our browser was too high. Let's try to straighten this line right here. Just like that. Do the same thing over here. Let's try to keep it flat, straight. Just. So we are good. Press OK. Let's see what we have. Beautiful. So look at the way it was looking before the defy, after the defy. Just a quick, a quick touching here and there. So I think I need a little dodging and burning for the leaves. So I'm just going to go to the dodge and burn. I'm going to go to auto dodge and burn just for the lips. I don't need it for the face. This is already properly contrasted. Just to get very much more details for the news, maybe the tip of our notes. Uh, maybe the highlights over here. Same thing with this one over here. Just pulling attention to places that you need it. So I think that one is too much. I can say so. Just use your brush flow. Just like that. Nice. So we can do the same thing for the bone area. 
Just try to introduce it a little. This is a little. The face is already properly contrasted, so we do not need a lot of no need dotting and burning on the image. It's going to mess it up. So this is in before, after, just for the lips and for the nose, and we are good to go. So a little, a little thing I would want to do is just saturate the color over her eye, over her eye, under her eyebrow. Don't know what that place is called. Just saturate the color to bring in a little attention to that area, just like that. Control I. Don't pick up our brush and do the same paint. Just like this. First for this area. That do the same thing for here. Nice. Okay, so let's go back and see the greens in her eyelid over right here. And I just get it out. I have to go to the green area in that. Let's saturate it a little. Let's try picking. Let's see what Photoshop is going to do that it's yellow. Okay. Well, and if I spread it out, so the selection will be stronger. And okay, so we'll now pick our brush and paint it in. Just to make that particular color over there pop. Like this. Okay, so we'll have it. We'll have it. This is before. This is after. This is before this is after. So the last thing we'll be doing is to apply our color lookup table. And this is the one we are giving to you for free in this particular video. So quickly, I took a little time to do the color grading myself. So I wouldn't have to spend a lot of time in the video. So I'll just go grab it right here. Change your stream PL. Uh, all right. So this is it over here. We are giving you this particular one free. And we are hide it. Please turn it. It is the flow and see the beauty of image before and after. Just a very quick dark chocolate skin. Just a very quick dark chocolate skin. And we are good to go. Meet it. Meet it. All right. So the last thing we'll do is to add our sharpening. Image is done. So we'll come to the sharpening area. Apply a sharpening. All right. So our sharpening is done. Look at it. This is before. This is after a lot of detail. Lots of details that will have right there. Amazing results. All right. So, obviously, we are going to reduce it. And we are done. So, let me show you the overall file after so you understand. So, I'm going to take a snapshot. Yeah. So, this was the image where we got into Photoshop. This was the image after we are done using our dot for you action. If you really, really want to get this done for your action pack, just go to the description of the video and you are going to see how you will gain access. Thank you for watching this amazing video. See you on the next one.